Okay, I'm going to be demonstrating for you a quick test that you can do on your ultrasound machine to test for the quality of the probe. This test no, in no way is going to replace a full acoustic spectrometry test of the probe. That's typically done by either biomedical or a biomedical physicist in medicine. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take our probe. In this case, it's, it's about a 7.5 megahertz linear array probe used for POCUS, point of care anesthesia. I'm going to go ahead and turn my gain of my machine up to see the ring down come. Now, as I look at the bottom or the far field of the ring down, I'm looking for any discrepancies or unevenness. This could indicate damage to the lens. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a key and I'm going to look for weak elements. Now, as I can see already, I have a little bit of shadowing going on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the flat end of this key and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to swipe it across gently. We don't want to scratch that lens. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm seeing some areas have some weakness or some shadowing. It looks like shadowing artifact. That's going to indicate a possible weak or dead element. Now this basic test should be performed anytime you take a machine either out of storage or a probe out of storage. It might be that probe that you never use if you had multiple probes on your POCUS machine. Or anytime you take a new purchase of equipment. It could be new equipment, it could be refurbished equipment. You want to check it out and see what you got. Now as you saw we had some weak elements there, but that on this particular machine doesn't make much of an imaging quality issue for me for the type of exams I perform. I'm now going to be taking a look at another probe just to demonstrate the difference between two different probes. Again, this is another POCUS or point of care anesthesia type a linear array probe. It's a 7.5 linear array probe. I'm going to take a look at it to compare it to the last probe. Again, I'm going to make sure there's no coupling agent or gel on the lens. I can always wipe that off. I'm going to go ahead and turn the gain up so I can see ring down. I'm going to check for, for errors with the lens in the far field. I'm going to then take my key and gently place it on again with the flat end only, not a jagged key. I'm going to go ahead and start from one side and observe the ring down. And I'm looking for any kind of shadowing. Shadowing could indicate a weak element or a faulty element. And as I see, this probe is in pretty good shape. That's because I just bought it and I've had it since it was built. If you have any questions or comments, give me a call, an email, and thank you for watching.